spent the night alone last night in the van because somebody spent the night alone last night because somebody had herself a good time with somebody else uh, but apparently on her way back from the bar Ashley took a bit of a spill and so I'm gonna have to see about that it apparently she's a little banged up I mean that literally not metaphorically I'd love a banana. Got a banana. You're the best. Hard, hot world out there. It's a hot world out there. Doing some work here. Ashley finally showed up. Ashley, how are you? <laughs> Can you show me your wounds? What happened? Oh, like a fell, you know. You Chicago fell. one, Ashley zero. Oh my god. I don't know, this is just like a fucking bruise. It's huge. Oh, wow. I feel so nice. <laughs> day, that was day one of Chicago and it just day kicked one. the crap out of you. I, know, well, I, I guess mean, it's true what they say, it is a rough city. <laughs> Probably mostly my fault. <laughs> so you hit a pothole and you fell. Yeah. And my, I like woke up this morning and my handlebars were like at quite the angle. <laughs> really, really glad that I carried my tool kit around with me because it would have been really awkward for me to be like dick, 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 dick. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the barista is wearing a Nintendo power glove. This is the place, man. This is where you gotta go. Oh shit, I didn't even notice the Barbie. Wow. Yeah, that's... That's beautiful. This is a freaking Walgreens. We're in a freaking Walgreens. Look at this place. It's pretty nuts. What the hell? Look at this. That's so crazy. My God. Look at all those gears. Just to, you know, keep those vitamins safe. That's surreal. Weird. I didn't know this, but apparently going to a Walgreens was on my bucket list. This is just nuts. Look at historical items. Sale prices, though. Sale prices. That's where it's at. Weird. We need a med kit for Ashley. <laughs> wow. Chicago's got these six-way intersections. They're freaking deadly. The longer I'm in Chicago, the more I'm realizing this city's known for a lot of good food. It's more than just deep dish pizza and a couple of hot dogs. There's a lot of stuff here. Like every corner, every place I pass, I just smell this amazing stuff. So yeah, we got our work cut out for us this week. We gotta eat a lot, a lot of delicious hole-in-the-wall food. And that's the nice thing. Chicago's kind of a blue-collar city, a little bit. So it's really got a, a lot of blue collar cheap food and I'm all about that. That's gonna be fun. Alcohol pads. We're doing a little triage here in the van. Putting Ashley back together. My one month of nursing school's coming in hand. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Come on, do it. This is like jumping in the, the lake. Yeah, you good. have to bolster up. The camera's on, so you have to like really show your grit and just do it. Get it, in. wipe it, wipe it, wipe it. I'm in surgery work here. Look at this. Just taping, taping it in. You look badass. You should see the other guy. Literally pavement, though. So you're probably fine. <laughs> the other guy's probably great. He's, he's doing good. <laughs> he's pulling through. He just came out of surgery. He's, he's perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm gonna take some time off from biking this morning, just walk around in lieu of uh, Ashley's concussion. And uh, we're gonna do a little bit of 
I don't want to say shopping, but we're going to go to some cool stores that we like. Bike stuff. Not on a bike. Not on a bike. Mm. And then uh, I heard something about Italian beef happening, so I'm excited for that. Alright, so um, on recommendation of the locals, I got my sandwich dipped. I didn't even want it dipped necessarily, because it sounds really gross, but basically what they do is they dip your entire sandwich inside the gravy. It's a mess. Oh god, that does not look good. Oh, it's soaking wet. It's just... Oh man. I mean, okay. it smells delicious, though. I just want to say, this was on recommendation from a buddy from Montreal, not from anyone on the Oh, list okay. Here. All right. <laughs> so this he's guy's like, just mean so, to us. You know, he's like, it sounds disgusting, but it's tasty. It's a tasty mess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Spicy. Beef is like not tough at all. Super tender. Not good. So review on the dipped is positive, although sloppy. I don't know. I, I feel like I should have tried non-dipped. Next like time. The crustiness of the bread might have been nice, but it's a good sandwich. Sandwich. Welcome to historic Oak Park. Now, if I haven't mentioned this before, uh, I studied architecture in university, and as a result, I know a few little details about very strange little tourist attractions that nobody else seems to care about. This one is Oak Park. Now, Oak Park was really made famous by, I, th I would say, Frank Lloyd Wright, but you know, there were other architects before him that did some pretty amazing stuff here, and, and what you see in this neighborhood is kind of like, them fleshing out all these ideas, the plain school of architecture, a lot of Japanese influence, a lot of uh, cantilever roofs. And it's just really, really interesting. The one building we're looking for, just right up here, and it is probably one of Frank Lloyd Wright's most famous houses. So I'm gonna take a look. So this is the Arthur B. Hurtley house. Infamously, Frank Lloyd Wright was a bit of a perfectionist to the degree that when he designed this house, he designed all the furniture that went into this house. And when the homeowner went and changed furniture, he wasn't having it. He came back and changed the furniture back. And all kinds of crazy, weird legal arguments. He even designed the clothes that they should wear while living in the house. It's crazy, anyway. But you can really see a lot of Japanese influence, a lot of cantilevering. <sighs> It's so surreal to see this in person. <laughs> so they were really inspired by steel frame construction. So you'll see a lot of in these in the plain style our houses. Now this one's got pillars like on the corner, but what they would often do is put pillars further inset, and then they'd have the windows go all the way around the corner of the house, so that the uh, just an un uninterrupted view of, of the corner of the lot kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, they would, that office, but now it's a standard for office buildings, but back then, no one had ever seen that before, right? So, it was like a hundred years ago.
Now you can take a tour of this facility, this house, but uh, first of all, I'm about 10 minutes late, and secondly, it's $17. And as much as I like Frank Lloyd Wright's buildings, I don't like them $17 much.